Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khaled Maidan. In this video, you're gonna see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement, to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. All right, we're now gonna take you through the objective assessment for the lumbar spine. Starting with some observation. So I'm just having a look at your lower back, you relax. Okay, I'm just having a, a quick feel of some of the muscles here, if that's okay. How does this feel? Is it okay? Yeah. Good. Excellent. I'd now like to go through some lower back movements with you. So, if I could ask you to start with your hands on the front of your thighs and slowly reaching down as far as you feel comfortable. Thank you, and you can come up. Feels okay? Yeah. Excellent. Can I ask you to put the hands on the lower back and I'm going to ask you to lean backwards. Thank you and relax. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Can I ask you to slide your right hand down the side of the thigh? Excellent. And you can come back to the middle. Is that okay? Yeah. And down to the left side please. Good. And you can come back to the middle. Everything feel okay? Yeah. Great. Could I ask you to have a lie on your back please? All right, here I'd like you to relax. I'm just having a look at the movement around your hips. So relax, I'm just gonna bring this towards you. All okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then we're just gonna turn your hip this way and the other way. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Wonderful. Let's have a look at this side. How does that feel? Okay. It's okay. And we're going to turn you this way and the other side too. Excellent. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Wonderful. Could I ask you to have a lie on your front, please? All right. So here I'm just going to be palpating some of the bones in your lower back. I'd like you to let me know if it feels okay or let me know if there's any pain or problems or symptoms in your back around the legs as well. All right. Okay. So, I'm just starting at the top. Okay, does that feel all all right? Yeah. Excellent, I'm just gonna have a quick feel of the muscles too, around the area, and on this side as well. Does that all feel okay? Yeah. Thank you. So those are some of the main components of the lumbar spine assessment. If you wanted to explore things further, this might be a good time to do it. For example, you can look at some resisted tests. Now around the lumbar spine, one of the main focal points is the stability around the hips. So for example, you can include a couple of tests like hip extension whilst your patient is in prone. You can ask them to extend the hip against uh, your resistance. Or you can include a functional test like a bridge when they're in supine. You can also um, bear in mind your myotomal testing if you went on to complete a neuro assessment for more information around their lower limb strength. One other thing to have a think about at this time might be some other tests to look at muscle length. For example, you could use a straight leg raise to have a look at the length of the hamstring muscles, or you can use something like a Thomas test to have a look at the flexibility of the hip flexor muscles and quadriceps. And that completes our real-time objective assessment. Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, 
check out our individual videos, for example, lumbar spine palpation or ankle resistant tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio, and we'll see you soon.